our breaking news story that we've been following for you about an hour and a half. Uh, well, actually, no, we're coming on about two hours now. It happened about 1130 um, Florida time. Uh, and this is what happened. I'll just bring you up to date quickly as we look at these pictures from our affiliate West TV out of Orlando, Florida. Uh, reports of gunfire at the Gateway Center at 1000 Legion Place uh, went. OK, let's get straight to the uh, mayor of Orlando live. Buddy Geyer as he's talking about this shooting, possibly two dead. Police department and their supporting law enforcement agencies in the Orlando Fire Department. The gunman has been apprehended, so the community is safe. That's the important thing to know now. OPD responded within a minute of the 911 call and immediately um, was on the scene. Uh, a lot of people have been impacted, but the OPD and our Residents have been extremely cooperative, and this was really a, a model of how to respond to an incident like this. I want to turn it over to Chief Demons. Are, are there any fatalities here? Well, we have five that were um, victims of, or shooting victims. We have one that was uh, started having chest pains, and we do have one uh, confirmed death. Do you think that that was you know, it's still a lot of details that we're sorting through right now. I mean, it's such a tragedy uh, to occur, especially after the shooting that occurred in Texas on yesterday. Still a lot of details we need to sort through, but we are proud to say that our SWAT team has apprehended the um, suspect. He was located at his mother's residence, uh, and he is in custody. Can you tell us about that apprehension? How did it go down? Well, we received information that uh, he may be in the area of his uh, mother's residence. We sent some officers out there, sent our SWAT team out there. They confirmed. We, of course, had information, intelligence information on him. They were able to uh, see him through the window and uh, ask him to come out. He did. He was arrested without incident. Did he try to commit suicide, Mom? Did he try to commit suicide? We have not heard any details like that. They've just arrested him, so there's, I'm sure there's a lot more information that will be coming in. Chief, we know that this guy was a former employee. Can we talk about the motive? why he did this. You know, I really wish I knew the motive. Uh, we're, our investigators are going to be working around the clock to find out exactly why he would do what he did today. There's still a lot of details that we're going to have to sort through. Have you confirmed, I know, this is the beginning of the fatalities, and were those fatalities of our former employees as well? Or that we have not uh, identified the person uh, that's dead, but there is one confirmed fatality. After talking to people in this building today, can you kind of give us an overview of what might have transpired that you well, around 11 o'clock today, we received a call of an active shooter at the facility uh, behind us. Our units responded, as the mayor said, they arrived within a minute, which was a very quick response. Of course, their first concern is the preservation of life uh, and to rescue those who may be uh, injured. They began a building search of each of the floors. There, are, I believe, is 18 floors within the building. Um, and we're just trying to locate exactly where the shooting occur occurred, what the conversation was before that, trying to talk to building security to get their information, and uh, the investigation continues. Chief Stevens, what was his family? demeanor? Did he seem like he might have been whacked out? Was he distraught? What was the suspected gunman's demeanor our, when your troops arrived? Our detectives are with um, the, the officers did not make contact with the gunman when we initially responded. The information that we were receiving about the shooter's demeanor is coming from witnesses that our uh, detectives are in the process of debriefing right now. Do you know, did he just walk he in on the first the floor and just start to shoot, or did he go did he to the location the of, of the business? We're talking to security to find out exactly how that did occurred. Did security, security try to stop him? Actually is in the we don't know yet, was unfortunately. Was it his mom who gave him up, or was there another person who gave him up, or was this just keen police work? The call came in, uh, and you know our intelligence units have been out here from the very beginning since 11 o'clock trying to identify who he is, was able to do that, received vehicle information, started looking for uh, his vehicle, started working on information from his cell phone, and through all of that, along with crime line tips that started coming in, we were able to uh, find out his location and subsequently Has the police him. department started to look into his past at this point? Does of he have course. any priors? Yes, we are. We're looking into everything. I have not been briefed by our intelligence officers as of yet. And are you confident, Chief, that he acted alone? We are confident of that at this point because the brief intelligence that I am aware of is that it was one lone gunman. Chief, can you one tell fatality us are the victims? and five wounded people. That's correct. And one fatality, and five and wounded. And the, um, the suspect himself, any wounds of any type? Not to my knowledge. Um, when any, are you any, have any the more information you want to add about the. Excuse, any more information our chief from the fire department can add about the uh, condition of the victims? Uh, Everybody we've.
talked to and double checked through the hospitals is stable. The ones that were transported, the shooting victims, we also had one medical condition related to the incident from the evacuation has been treated and is also in stable condition. Uh, of course, as Chief Deming says, we had one what we call the no code, no vitals when the crews were rapidly went in under the protection of OPD because the building was not secured at this time. We rapidly went in, found any patients. If they were you know, workable in this case, got them out of the building and got them immediately treated and sent to the hospital. The medical directors for the paramedics of the fire department were here on the scene to assist us in actually making sure of everything that went well. So at this point, everybody is stable except for the one no code, no vitals. And we have heard um, some of the names of who might have been dead. When are we going to actually of the person? Well, that'll come well, through you know, the chief sure deputy. That the family, the family, the family no, there have not been any notifications. You can imagine how family members feel who have uh, victims that are working in this building. The person has not been identified, nor have any notifications been made to the family. I do want to mention the response, not only from the Orlando Police Department, but the Orange County Sheriff's Office, and I believe every federal, state, and local agency responded and came to our aid today. So, it, you know, it's been a long day, but it was a wonderful uh, collaborative effort to uh, identify the suspect and, and arrest him. Chief, 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 are they now clear to go home or what's their situation that you've taken them out? Our officers are in the process for those persons who we believe were not related at all, did not witness anything, did not hear anything. We're in the process of trying to release them. And Scott, where's the mother's house? The, yeah, what, can you tell us where the mother's house is? Or? She lives in an apartment complex out off of Curry Ford Road. I don't have the exact address out there, but yeah. Did, um, did she call police by any chance? Because I know sometimes in desperate situations like this, relatives will turn relatives in. And she may have. Uh, like I said, a call, we've been receiving calls. She may have been one of We're those We're going to continue to follow this breaking news out of Orlando, Florida. But the good news is that shooter is in police custody. Jason Rodriguez, apprehended by the SWAT team. Apparently, he escaped uh, the Gateway Center at 1000 Legion Place there in Orlando, Florida, fleeing to his mother's residence, uh, where he turned himself in without incident. We got reports now, uh, official numbers, five victims, one individual with chest issues and one person confirmed dead. We're going to stay on top of that breaking news for you.